welcome back to Wine, Liars, and Beer. I'm Amy. And I'm Dina. And this is our third take. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully it gets done. Okay, so I'm going to start with the fact that it is August 19th, <laughs> which means, or according to whoever's calendar that invents that shit, I have no idea who does it. It's the end of Mercury in retrograde. Yeah. So communication issues, transportation issues, travel issues, should all initiation be done. <laughs> should yeah. be over. <laughs> Yet we are having serious problems. So um, let's hope we can make it home alive because we decided to go away for the weekend. Yes. We took a mini vacay. And we are currently pulling our house on wheels behind us that we spent the weekend in on the beach. We wanted to um, have oceanfront property, you know, live with the yeah. uh, millionaires on Meadow Lane in Southampton. Um, so we went camping. And I don't understand why people call it vacation because... It's a lot of work. Holy mackerel. And not, not just physical work. Because I'm not going to complain about the physical work because yeah. I could always use a good workout. Yeah. <laughs> but the mental exhaustion <laughs> that this has caused is, uh, you know, I'm ready for it to be over. Yeah. I put us into wheel drive, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm making my first left turn. Here we go. Okay. It's so funny. We're, like, so ghetto right now, <laughs> traveling through the, <laughs> where J-Lo lives and Ralph Lauren, and they've got these gated homes with these cameras where the help isn't even allowed to park yeah. in the driveway. Driveway. To have this view, I don't know if I would want this much home, but no, they're very pretty. Though, the view, yes. right? Yeah, like it's a nice house. I would even live in the help house. I'm telling back. you right now, if we walked into one of these houses, they would like tell us to get out because we smell them. Oh they wouldn't let us pass the gate. Are yeah. you kidding me right now? We smell so bad. We haven't taken a real shower in like three and a half days. Yeah, <laughs> a long time. I, and you can add to mine because. My intention was to shower right before we left, hmm. and that didn't happen. No. So I'm four and a half days in not having a full fledged shower. You know, yeah. Scrub down. So well, I would, I would honestly be embarrassed to talk about what my tub is going to look like. Oh, it's going to be so <laughs> gross. And I'll probably take a picture of it and send it to you. Hey, but we got to spend the weekend at the beach. We so. did. Then we got some nice tan. Yeah, but even the weekend, do we want to start from the weekend and then work backwards? Want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. All right, because um, it was uh, like stormy weather. Um, yeah. Right? Yeah. The weather, it was like I mean, and we had nice days as far as, you know, at the beach. We were at the beach Friday and Saturday, and the days were nice. The sun came out. Yeah. But Friday night into Saturday was like, that right? was a crazy storm, and it went lasted for like an hour. Yeah. The lightning was like insane. I was trying to sleep through it, but... Yeah, and thank God. I mean, we were smart enough, thank God, to like put prepare things, for it. We put things away yeah. and... You know, make sure that the awning was down. But uh, so we didn't fly away like Dorothy. Yeah, because we were already off center. Like <laughs> the camper was already off center. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was crazy storms Friday night. And then Saturday we had friends come out, and we spent most of the day on the beach because it was a little bit. Oh yeah, we uh, got rain. to the beach. Oh, yeah. once we set up, we got all of our spots set up, you know, your tent, your chairs. No, everything. no tent yet. Oh, just the <laughs> chairs, right? Yes. So we were like, oh yeah, we could head down to the beach. It was one of those days where it was like overcast, but you know, still warm enough to enjoy the beach. And those are the kind of days where you get, um, a lot of color, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because of the reflection of the water molecules in the air, whatever. So as soon as we get all set up, yeah. And we sit down and it starts to legit rain, yeah. not like drizzle. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And we look left and right down the beach. There's there's not many other people no, there. No. <laughs> so we set the tent up and we went under the tent. And it's Saturday. So usually yeah. on a Saturday for all you beachgoers, you know you have to leave at like the crack of dawn in order to even get a spot on the beach. Yeah. Nobody was there because they all knew better. Yeah, but it turned out to be a nice day. It, it did. It did. 
sorry, there's people on bikes yeah, on the side of the I know, road, I and I'm, I'm getting a little nervous here. Driving a monster, monstrosity of a vehicle yeah. attached to a monstrosity of a <laughs> home in the back. Well, Escalades are driving <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Probably to pick up the private helicopter yeah. riders. <laughs> Uh, oh, and Trump, right? Trump oh, yeah, was Trump out was here this town. weekend. And what was that? That was Friday. Yeah, right? caused the uh, entire town to shut down. Mm-hmm. He drove by, but he didn't wave or anything, so... Yeah. What a stuck-up little man he is. Yeah, so then, um, you know, we did our beach thing Saturday. We were back at the camper Saturday for, like, dinner. And, you know, it was starting to get a little bit cloudy out, I guess. And all of a sudden... And you know what? We did start hearing some thunder as well. But, it, you know, we were at the beach, and even though we're in Southampton, we're still separated from the mainland, yes. right? So it mm-hmm. looked like a lot of the storm was happening on the mainland. I thought that we were safe. And you were like, no, we're no. not. I said, no, I don't think so. But, you know, we waited a little bit of time, and then all of a sudden, it just became pitch black. Like, it looked like the end of the world was happening right above us. Yeah, it did. And, uh, sorry. It's our, I'm like trying, you know what I'm thinking in my head right now is that like the past couple episodes we've been um, recording in air conditioned situations, so the AC has been in the background. And I'm wondering what it sounds like because remember before my truck started on its own? Oh, and you said And and you were like, oh, your truck started. And I was like, holy mackerel, it's that loud? And you were like, yeah. So I'm wondering. Yeah, with if, the sound. If what it sounds, it sounds like. like we're legit driving a yeah. truck right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the end of the world was happening Saturday. I, I really thought the end of the world was happening. No, like, because all of a sudden, and the clouds came in real fast, and the we wind were getting like came text in. messages from people to run. Yeah. They were like, "How are you guys?" Well, I just I, we really have to put this out there. It it really was just me and Dino this weekend. Yeah. We did the manliest of man jobs all yeah. weekend long. Mm-hmm. I just dump shit. Yeah. So, you know. Literal, literally. Yeah, I literally dump shit. Yeah. So, all the little yeah nuggets that came <laughs> falling out. <laughs> oh, I had to rid of the waste products from our weekend. and <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to a legit septic tank. Yeah, man job. Man job. Mm-hmm. So I need a shower. Yes. Anyway. And so, again, Saturday, end of the world, clouds were rolling in. And it was just like wind just like swept up. And yeah, we were getting the text I mean, messages. I was like excited about that though. I wanted to, I really um, wanted to like go drive around in it. Oh, and then somebody in a jet ski decided oh, yeah. to go riding around in the inlet, which when we were driving by it, yeah, it was, pretty was rough. like yeah. crazy rough. And he must have fallen off or something because yeah. they had water rescue going on. Yeah. So that was exciting. I wanted to go see that too. I don't know how I felt about the whole situation. You didn't want to move. I didn't want to move because... And I wanted to go explore stuff. I just, you know... And then, like, minutes later you hear about the person that got struck by lightning in, like, wherever... Uh, Sunken Meadow. Like, it's scary. Yeah. And the lightning is scary in itself. And we're on a freaking mobile... Ho- like, we're in a home on wheels so god forbid i know but we had the discussion about where is the safest place to be when you're struck by lightning no i understand that but that doesn't matter when there's tornadoes coming through because that's the type of sky that that what like that was really a black sky it was a black sky yeah it was black i'm telling you twister twister style movie sky when when tornadoes come the sky turns black i mean they can yeah and then you know i get nervous about the water spouts that can happen I've never heard of water spouts on Long Island, though. Oh, my God. They happen all the time. I was at Davis Park, and it happened. Really? Yeah. In the bay or the ocean? The ocean. Really? Yes. And they, like, people were calling us saying, you know, they just confirmed. What's the danger of a water spout? What did we say about mercury? Uh, Exactly. All right. So what is the danger of a water spout? No, I think that it can eventually come onto land. Oh, really? Yes. It's a tornado in the water. A big one. I mean, it's. Not like, not like, a, you know, whatever, F5 or whatever they're called, but it's, you know, it's a littered, legit tornado that like forms that over water. Like, that does excite you? No. That's exciting. No, you. not at all. Not something that's going to suck me up into the it's sky. Cool. It does not excite me. We could end up in, uh, mm-mm. Holy mackerel. No. 
Okay. I really think going to Oz might be fun. But that whole anticipation of that storm was like, and then it really wasn't much. I mean, no. there was rain, there was... We scared the crap out of you for nothing. I know. I was actually more nervous the night before. That was, because that was pouring torrential rain. That was like lightning for an hour. Yeah, a lot of lightning. Yeah. And all around. Too. Yeah. So, um, but there it wasn't much wind, which was nice. The wind happened last night, overnight. <laughs> Oh, we were trying to Yeah, sleep. that was just annoying when, though. It wasn't, yeah. like, ab- aggressive wind. It was just, like, knocking stuff. So it sounded like knocking yeah. all night long. Yeah, So. Knocking, knocking, knocking. Yeah, and then we um just finished emptying shit and filling tires. And the food. We, we uh, had, like, a food situation because, of course, I brought an empty propane tank, so we had no barbecue. Yeah. That's all right, though. So. Besides the barbecue situation, I forgot the buns, so we would have had <laughs> hamburgers and hot dogs without buns, which we ended up having. Yeah. But not barbecued. I had Easy Mac. Easy Mac. And... A little old oh, oh, chicken. Yeah. Lots of vegetables. Mm-hmm. And then we door dashed bagels. Yes. That was a good idea. Mm-hmm. I was excited about bagels. Yeah, the bagels were good. And door dash as well. Yeah. I mean, all in all, it was a pretty good weekend. Besides the few weather haps and food haps. And you know what? We were, one of the biggest things we were worried about last minute, you know, we were gathering stuff, because it was kind of a spontaneous trip. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't like a a well-planned trip at all. Um, But, you know, running around during the day and, like, keeping in mind all the things that you need to have, like, a successful camping trip. Yeah. Because you need so much stuff. Yeah. You need everything you need at home, you know, Uh, like, you pay for goods and forks and spoons and coffee and food and blankets and pillows. All that stuff you have to bring with you because it's not there already. Mm -hmm. And um, then the outdoor camping fun stuff, like... Things to do. Yeah, Mm -hmm. games and marshmallows and firewood. firewood. So I was so worried about the firewood because I didn't... um, get real authentic firewood, you know, like where yeah. from somebody's yard, yeah. I actually went and bought the expensive bags of firewood, mm-hmm. and I was so worried we were going to run out because that stuff burned, like, pretty quick, and we were only allowed to, uh, only allowed, only able to yeah. have a fire first night, Thursday, Thursday night yeah. when we got there because every other night it rained, yeah. so at least the days were good, but we didn't get to have, like, campfires and sing songs and yeah. stay up all night drinking and talking, you know, like, no. Like, you do. And look at the stars. I miss stars because you see shooting stars out. Yeah. We could have located the five planets, the central mm-hmm. and <laughs> cursed them out. Yes. Oh, we didn't have that that kind of experience. And it's late in the summer, so I don't see us doing this again. No. This summer because summer's over. Oh my God. We got two weeks left. This is it. Yeah, back to work. We, next weekend is... Uh, Labor Day weekend. Wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It is. And we have... Not this weekend, coming up. Fun. Yeah, the following. Yeah. Next mm-hmm. one. This one's over, so... No, no, no. The one coming up, though, is not Labor Day. No. No. It's, yeah. The following. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This coming up weekend. So, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. A week from this coming yeah. weekend. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, we had a pretty laid-back week, I believe. Besides, you know, we went to the city on Monday. Yeah, that was a... That was another transportation situation. Yeah. Um, we were going, we went to see OAR at Summer Stage in Central Park. And that was another spontaneous yeah. situation. And um, we took a subway from Penn Station to Central Park, but when I was researching the subway situation, it wasn't the, I guess, correct stop for or the quickest way to get to the summer stage. It was, um, the stop was right by the natural, the Museum of Natural History or whatever. Yeah. And you know what? I wish we weren't in such a rush because... Yeah, I don't, people have to think. No, I am. Oh, okay. I'm just getting uh, the right way because it's the sunrise. The people are already driving. Oh, forget it. Um, yeah, but again, I'm pulling a expensive amount of weight. Yeah. This is like, you ever watch those movies and you know it's a fake drive and the people, you yeah. know, <laughs> like moving the steering wheel, all 
that's a great way. Like, can you see me a little? I feel. <laughs>
went to go find the downtown train, and the woman was like... No, there was, there was tape on oh. tape. Yeah, so I looked at her, her. Yeah. and she was like, don't be afraid, come talk to me, little lady. Yeah. So I went to her, and then I was like, can I jump back over the turnstile? <laughs> she said like, no. No. <laughs> oh I'll buzz you in, she said. But I wanted to jump again. But we had to get back onto an uptown train. To go all the way to 125th Street. To then go downtown. Which is the heart of Portland. Yeah, we were going towards, yeah. And then we got off, got on the downtown train. And so needless to say, in all this travel trouble, we missed a train. We missed yeah. a whole train. Yeah. So but it gave us time to get pizza. Frozen. Yeah. Favorite. Yeah. I swore I was only going to get one slice and I got two. I was so tired that night. Like, I was so tired. What's the matter? I was okay. Oh, you're, yeah. You're making me nervous. Well, because I'm pretty passive with me, so I kind of want to pick up my seat. No, because you have a freaking humongous thing on the back. I go 55. Right? I don't know. I should be able to go 55. I see these freaking... Look at that guy with the travel trailer. He's flying. He's not doing 40 miles an hour on sunrise. Right? Yeah. He was going, why do I smell condoms? <laughs> what? It's this. Wow. <laughs> Your shit club. <laughs> I don't... God, ew. <laughs> you probably smell us. We reek right now. I shouldn't smell it. Do we smell so bad? I just... The more we're going west on sunrise, the more happy I am to be taking a shower in hours. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about a shower, too, I have to say. I have to say. All right, so that was Monday. I mean, yeah. what was the rest of the week like? Um, I don't think we really did anything, because we left on Thursday. Oh, we did. We did that I can remember. Tuesday you went to Rudy's. Oh, yeah, they go to Rudy's on Tuesday. I gotta tell you, I had like the pineapple mango boneless wings. They were so good. Pineapple and mango? Delicious. Really? Uh-uh. Just trying to look. Okay. Yeah. And they didn't belong there and they got stuck in 
the camper guys yeah. are laughing at them yeah. for doing that. It happened the last two times I was there, actually. Two two very fancy cars, I think one was an Audi and one was Mercedes, like low cars, like your yeah. sedan yeah. style, drove right onto the beach like they could do that. And they got, you know, five feet before they all had to be rescued and, you know, all just oh, 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 laughing. So knowing that that happens when somebody makes a mistake, it makes puts a lot of pressure on because we like really bad anxiety. And I know that from from also from personal experience that that's one of the things that people stress out about when they're learning how to do it. Like I we know people that should just do it. It's like no big deal. So I've gotten through so many barriers with this whole beach living camping thing. Like I'm able to you know hook it up by myself, get it together. Like, we just did all this by ourselves, pulling off the beach. We did everything. Yeah. We backed the truck up, yeah. hooked it up, got all the equipment right, dumped the shit, everything yeah. went perfectly fine. We're pulling, we're driving, right? But I did, I, I'm not going to lie, I asked a couple of questions yeah. about a couple of things. But of course, you want to be sure. Right, I want to make, make sure, sure that I'm not going to drive down highway. the highway and think start, like, hanging. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Because that would be a lot. Yeah. If the black clouds have been with us all weekend. God knows that they're yeah. only going to follow it. Oh. Yeah. So getting there, the whole, you know, like I'm done, like nervously sweating. And I'm like huffing and puffing. And everybody's like, what's the matter? I'm like, I'm so nervous. Like, meanwhile, they're thinking it's immediate. Yeah. Like, yeah. Johnny's like trying to help out. Yeah. Like, and he's like, what? And I'm like, I'm nervous. He's like, what are you nervous about? I'm like, I'm really nervous about people staring. Yeah. That's what I'm nervous yeah. about. Because when you see two girls roll up, because it's legit, yeah. two females rolling up in a pickup with a gamper, yep. they're going to be like, watch this. Yeah. And they admitted that yeah. that's exactly yeah. what they did. Yeah. So here I am pulling up, and I think I tried twice before they came. Maybe three times? Maybe three times. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, you know trying to back it up, this is whole, like, opposite than what you wanted to do thing that goes on, and my brain doesn't function like that, I guess. I am not a less brain person. So, A plus B never equals C to C. Yeah. It just doesn't. Yeah. I am, like, the most, you know, not yeah. emo. But I, I don't have that, that logical thinking yeah. in my head. But that's kind of illogical as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, yeah. Like, if I do this and, and I yeah. wanted to do that, it does the opposite. And then they're saying, turn it a tiny bit. And then I'm afraid that I'm going to, like, do something wrong. And so they come running over kind of laughing, right? Yeah. They were, they were, or, I mean, they were, they were, I don't think they were doing it, like, I don't know. I think they were just doing it. Because there's a lot of yelling. I told you. I think I warned you. A lot of yelling and screaming was going to yeah. happen. I yeah. can't help it. I just, like, yell and scream. Yeah. <laughs> and I could get stressed. Um, and they offered, do you want me to do it? So I said, yeah. Yeah. Fine. Do it. Do it. And he did it. In, like, 2.5 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I kind of watched what he did, and I think, like, yeah. And, like, they kept, like, I think Johnny even said, you know, you just turn it a little bit towards the bay. And literally, the guy just, like, yeah, and it I, wasn't even a half a turn. And I was turning it like I'm turning, I'm, I'm yeah. turning, yeah. turning, because that's what my brain is telling yeah. me to yeah. do. So I couldn't. Maybe next time we'll do it. Yeah. But I know that there's girls out there that are going to be like, what do you mean there's a girl and a boy divide? But there is a girl and a boy divide. There's a girl and a boy divide and a whole lot of things. And I'm not a feminist by any means. I'm not. And people yeah. can hate me for that. And, you know, not that we don't have haters already because we got some hate going on yeah. too, right? Yeah. We definitely did. People were not happy with us. But anyway, girls have girl duties and boys have boy duties, don't you think? I think, yeah. And I think it's just that guys, I don't know. I, I don't, it's not that girls can't do it. It's just that it's just something that guys have done over time and, and I'm, I'm like, going to continue this conversation on other avenues. Like, yeah. what are some other things that girls can't do or are not seen as difficult things to do? And changing a tire. I would yeah. never know how to change a tire. I don't. You're lucky that I knew how to put air in the tire. But, like, even when we were airing down on yeah. Thursday, I still had to ask you, like, with that little... Yeah, how to use the game. Yeah, I was yeah. like, what is it? 
Right. Okay. All right. So you got a lesson. Yeah. I'm gonna learn now. I can do yeah, it. Yeah. Now you can do it. It's not hard, obviously, yeah. but. No, you know, changing a child, or we never know. But at anything that you do, you have to learn how to do it. Yeah. So, I mean, like, for girls, a lot of girls have dads that take care of mm-hmm. that kind of thing. That wasn't my case. So, I really have to figure out a lot of things, you know, by yeah. fire. Yeah. You just, you just do it. And there are not a lot of reliable men in my life that yeah. are going to show me how to do stuff or do it for me. You know what I mean? Like, I think there was a time I actually did get a flat tire. It was a while ago. It wasn't like any time recent. And I called for help, like somebody come and help me. And we called my mom. Yeah. And uh, she wasn't able to come. So I had to figure it out. Yeah. Like you just have to figure it out. Like it's I mean, about, I even figured out that are like at my apartment when something like uh, right now I have a definite leak under my kitchen sink. And I've had, it's been going on for months. I know it has because I put a my my way of fixing it was I put a one of my pots under there and it's now leaking into the pot and you know I re- you know I've been telling my father oh this is my sink my sink is leaking of course you know it's one thing you know you forget about it right 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 but every time I go into my uh, so you still have a pot under there yeah well that the, the, the my actually under my bathroom sink exploded remember yes. Yeah. And I had to be plumber for a day. Yeah. So I did. I took pictures of the stuff. I had to go back and forth. It was like 500 times. Yeah, I kept yeah, getting the wrong thing. I didn't even have patience for that. But I had to do it. Yeah. I had to do it because I can't have anybody telling me that I can't do something. Yeah. That is my thing. You cannot tell me that I can't do it. Put a wall up in my house. Yeah. Only thing I won't screw around with, and it's because I have a fear of dying. Oh, is electric? Electric. Yeah. So, I'm not touching anything electrical, but I bought myself a head trimmer and trimmed all my bushes. I know my old lawn. I think I'm out of garbage. Yeah. Like, those are all boy stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I don't, not that I, I don't need a boy, because it would be nice if boys did that. Yeah. Stuff. I'm not saying I have to do it all. I'm just saying I can do it all. Yeah. But if a boy wants to come and take over all the boy things, I could be sitting shotgun right now. Mm-hmm. Checking my Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Sharing some food. I know. Eating french fries. I'm dying for french fries. Oh, and pizza. And why do I want to eat french fries? Because we didn't really eat. Like, we didn't eat bad this weekend. Like, we didn't have any of those types of foods this weekend. No, we didn't. We have bagels, though. We did, but they came for the bagels. They were good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so okay. I can't believe that other day. Maybe I'll, like, wake up after a shower. Yeah, probably. You just need some ground in done. All right. I kind of, um... I wanted like go and do a facial too. My my fingernails are black and dirty. Actually, they're not as bad as I thought. They're they not bad. I mean, I just got mine done before I went. Before we went, but and did it break any? So I'm good. I do. I'm kind of glad I didn't get a pedicure before we went either because my feet are filthy. Yeah, I didn't even paint my nails with my toes because I didn't want to. Yeah. I brought nail polish with us, thinking if we were like really chillaxing, you know, <laughs> sitting. You know how yeah. that happens? Yeah. Camping and chillax. Yeah. But after we got there and <laughs> realized that, you know, I mean, the work the work is beginning and end until something goes wrong in the middle. Mm-hmm. There, there, just the first, I think we took care of everything the first night. There was like a late night mishap that we had to like. Um, level ourselves yeah. out, right? Yeah. The refrigerator was like, working. Literally level the camera yeah. out. <laughs> and it takes a lot of us. I don't have anything electric on the camera. This is the old school. I don't need to press a button and jack to go down. This is all like real, yeah. flat, muscle work. Now we've got the generator working. Yeah. We did. So we like mammed it up this weekend. Yeah. I got my certificate in, uh, <laughs> what can I get? Kind of a job can I have now? <laughs> I don't even know. My brain is not even working. Right <laughs> I'm a master of something now. Can't heavy equipment traveling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's wait for 
wait till we get home. I think it's, it's been a while since I've told some stories, so I need to get uh, yeah. something up. In fact, we need to, like, make a plan to go out this week so we can socialize with others. Yeah. This, this weekend would have been a good weekend to socialize, but we are all both are down at night because mm-hmm. of the weather. What is the week going to be like? Alright, yeah, so we're up for suggestions on 
road trip. Our next road trip. And also, well, we have a road trip coming up in September. Mm-hmm. But also, um, suggestions for, you know, you guys. You guys want to come talk to us. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll uh, see you next week. But we're looking forward to you. Love hearing from you. Keep talking to us, whether it's good or bad or indifferent. Yeah. You know, the hate mail still some attention. So yeah. I don't mind the hater. <laughs> kind of makes me laugh a little bit. <laughs> After the initial, like, yeah. right? Why did they say that? Yeah. It's like, you know what? That means they're paying attention. <laughs> right? It is. Uh, they listen to me. If they took the time out of their day to make a comment about something that we said, then they are taking the time out of their day to listen to what we're saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, I got it. So heat and, and not heat is, is equal. So keep the DMs coming. Keep the emails coming. Keep the comments coming because I like it regardless of what it is. All right, so don't forget to follow us on Instagram. That's where most of our... Yeah, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and visit our WordPress site, follow us. Um, but the biggest thing that we're going to ask you to do over and over and over again is to not only subscribe and rate us on iTunes, but subscribe, rate, you. It would be a really big help. Um, once you get a rating, it's taking a little bit of time because the algorithm for iTunes reading is not comprehensible to me. Yeah, it's not all about it. We tried to look it up, but it's not really helping us. Yeah. So if you could do that, that would be great. And we will see you next Sunday.